Hi everybody, I'm Firefighter Josh. And I'm Firefighter Katie. Today we would like to show you all of the special clothes that firefighters wear on the different types of emergencies they go on. Firefighters have clothes that they wear when they go inside of houses that are on fire. They have clothes that they wear when they go on wildland or forest fires. In addition to helping people on fires and car accidents, firefighters also help people when they're sick or when they're hurt. We have special clothes to wear on those calls as well. One of the things that we always wear is our rubber gloves. These help keep our hands nice and clean while we're taking care of people who are sick. We also wear safety glasses to keep our eyes protected. Now, this is pretty standard for us and this, these are the safety clothes that we've been wearing for a long time. We recently got some new clothes that we'd like to show you guys that look a lot different from what you guys see right now. So we'd like to show you those. Katie is going to put on one of our special masks. This can help protect Katie from someone who's sick and it can also protect you if Katie's kind of sick. Now you can see as Katie puts on that mask, she's gonna look pretty silly, right? And if you weren't ready and you saw Katie in your house, it might be a little bit scary. I want you to know that it's still Katie under that mask. She's just wearing that to keep you and her both safe. We now have even some fancier clothes. I have a gown that I can put on in cases where we're really worried about somebody being extra sick. So you can see this gown is just made out of blue plastic. And it goes over my head, and then my arms slide into the armholes. I can then wrap it around me and tie it just like an apron. Does it look like I'm getting ready to cook dinner at the firehouse? The last thing that I have is my special mask. This mask protects me and you from, ex from coughs and it also protects my eyes. Now this thing looks pretty scary if you're not ready for it. So I want you guys all to see it right now, okay? What do you think? I look pretty weird, huh? But if you saw me in your house and I was taking care of mom and dad or I was taking care of you, it would be because you were sick and needed my help, okay? Fighter Josh is going to show us how to put all of his protective equipment on to go into fires. So right now I'm just wearing my regular uniform. If I went into a fire, I would get burned and hurt. So that's not a good idea. So I need to put on all of my special firefighter clothes. I have to be completely covered from head to toe in all my special clothes so I can keep myself safe when I go inside of a building that's on fire. I'm going to start out by putting my pants and my boots on. I keep my pants and boots together so that I can put them on quickly when there's a fire. That was pretty fast, huh? Did you guys get, that, get ready for school that fast in the morning? <laughs> now that I have my pants on, I'm going to put my firefighter coat on. So I have my firefighter pants on and my firefighter coat. If I put my helmet on, am I ready to go? No. No. My ears are still visible. You can see my hands and you can see my nose. So I have to get all that stuff covered up too. To cover up my ears, I'm going to use my firefighter hood. This is going to cover up my ears and my hair. So I put my hood on. And I can pull my hood up. Now am I ready? No. What about my nose? I gotta cover up my nose, right? Well, would this work? No. That's a terrible idea. Because if I cover up my nose with my hood, I can't see. So I have a super special firefighter mask that I can wear. The mask covers up my nose, but it lets me see. So this is a really important piece of equipment. In addition to that, I don't want to get burned in a fire, but I also can't breathe all the bad, nasty smoke. So I have a special firefighter backpack. This is my special backpack. Just like a lot of you guys have school backpacks, 
This is my work backpack, except in instead of carrying books and my lunch, it carries nice clean air for me to breathe inside of a fire. So, I'm going to put my backpack on. And while we're sitting here, I'm going to turn it on. It's going to make a bunch of really funny beeping noises and some rattles. It's a pretty noisy backpack. Okay, now I'm going to put on my special firefighter mask. When I do this, I'm going to sound super silly. Because do you see the hole right here? I'm going to have to talk through that hole. So it's going to kind of sound like this. Okay? You guys ready to hear that? How do I sound? That's pretty silly, huh? I'm going to put my firefighter helmet on. And I need to put my gloves on to cover up my hands. Now I'm all covered up, right? The very last thing I have to do is take my firefighter backpack and connect it to my firefighter mask. Now when I do that, I'm going to sound extra silly. Because you guys see this hose? I have to breathe through that hose. Are you ready? Isn't that silly? <laughs> now, if you saw me inside your house, would you be scared? No, because I would be there to help you. Now, Firefighter Katie would like to show you the extra special clothes that we wear when we go on car accidents. Okay. So first thing Katie's gonna put on is her reflective vest. This helps extra traffic around a car accident see Katie so that hopefully she doesn't get hit by a car. It's dangerous to be in the road. Katie's also gonna put on some medical gloves so that she can take care of anyone who got hurt in the car accident. The last thing Katie's gonna put on is some special car accident gloves that we have that can protect her hands from broken cars or broken glass. Now Katie is totally ready to help you out on a car accident. Now Firefighter Katie is gonna show us all the special clothes that she wears when we go on a wildland fire. A wildland fire is something that happens when there's a forest fire or even sometimes when there's a big grass field that's on fire. So we wear special lightweight firefighter clothes because we're gonna be out in the sun and in the heat a lot of the time and we can be out for a really long time, up to eight or 12 hours, so we can't wear all the heavy firefighting clothes that we would normally wear if someone's house was on fire. So you can see Katie's already put on her special fire, her special wildland firefighter shirt, and she's putting on her wildland firefighter pants. The last part of Katie's firefighter clothes is a special wildland backpack that we call web gear. Katie, what's in your web gear? All right, so it's a nice lightweight backpack. In here we've got our water bottles so that when we're out there fighting fire, we can rehydrate. In here we've got a, uh, a nice shroud that can add, be added to your helmet that uh, adds filtration for any smoke you might encounter. We have a uh, bandana, as well as some goggles, so that nothing gets in our eyes, and a flashlight uh, for like a headlamp in case we have to do anything at, at night. Also in here, we have this uh, fire shelter. It comes out just like this. A fire shelter is the most important part of a wildland firefighter's clothing because that keeps them safe in an emergency. The wildland shelter is made of aluminum foil and can be used to protect a firefighter if they get into a spot where the fire's coming really close to them. Firefighter Katie is holding a practice fire shelter so we can show you all how it works.
She opens it up and now she's gonna climb inside it and lay down on the ground. This practice fire shelter is green, but in real life they're made of aluminum foil so they can reflect the heat of the fire and keep Katie safe. Thanks for visiting us today at Firehouse 33.